Omar Esau here, and in today's video, we are going to go over the last edition, in my opinion, the best edition, the most underrated, leg anatomy. We're going to teach you how to make your booty pop, learn what a hamstring is, find out that you actually have a bicep in your hamstring, and uh, even talk about calves, which not a single fuck is given on my part, but because people will be asking me, I have to talk about it. Alright, so first let's talk about your booty, the dairy air, the junk in that trunk. Uh... We're going to name the muscle groups by their larger names, so glutes. So I'm not going to refer to it as the maximus, medius, and minimus. I'm going to call it the glutes. And the primary function is, bam, hip extension. You know what that looks like? That's what I thought. Hip extension is incredibly important. Okay, That posterior chain, your lower back, your hamstrings, and your glutes firing all at the same time, driving that shit in. Well, I just said it's really important. Perhaps one of the most important moves in your body. Fuck it, I'll say the most important move in your body. Uh, so three different functions. The hip extension, move your hip in, okay, or think the opposite, like a donkey kick. Uh, external rotation of the femur, so from here, when we say open up on the squat, or when you do a sumo deadlift and your feet open up, that puts your glutes at a better mechanical advantage or leverage to be worked. Uh, and the other one would be abduction of the thigh, so moving it out. Uh, what exercises target that? Well, we got a couple isolation. Glute bridges, no shit. Hip thrust, barbell hip thrust. Uh, the big primary compound movement would be the deadlift, right? Sumo deadlifts, conventional deadlifts, Romanian deadlifts, they're all deadly. Those, that Eastern Bloc knows what's up. That's your booty. Everybody loves a good booty. Guys like it on girls. Girls like it on guys. You know how many compliments I've received? Too many to count on these hands. Moving on, hamstrings. Nobody cares about them because nobody can see them, but we should still talk about them. Uh, three different muscles. Also, cyst the glutes in that hip extension, right? Uh, but also knee flexion. So kick yourself in the butt, and that is your hamstring doing the work for you. Uh, the other one is to internally rotate the tibia. Not really that important. When people want to train their hamstrings, they do a couple leg curls and call it a day. Eh, that's okay, that's knee flexion, but I'd argue that you should integrate it. You should do a combination of knee flexion dominant exercises. So glute ham raise, uh, if you don't have one, leave your gym, sucks. Or you could do you could do an easy version of that on a, a lat pull down machine. And then also an equal amount of hip extension. So good mornings with the barbell on your back, Romanian deadlift are great exercises to try and bring up this area. Next up, we got the quads. Yeah, okay, people like training the quads because they can see them. They want that teardrop at the bottom. Uh, two primary functions that I want to talk about. Knee extension, so that's when you kick your knee up, kind of like your Michael Jackson. Uh, and the other one is hip flexion. We don't really care about hip flexion where you raise your hip up like so because it's already overworked. Your hip flexors are overworked, they're dominant, uh, so it's not worth talking about. For us, the exercises we know, the, the quads are fairly simple. Uh, lunges, short step lunges, squats. What type of squats? Well, a high bar squat will train far more, place a greater emphasis on your quads. It'll still work your glutes, it'll still work your uh, entire legs, but a greater emphasis, high bar Olympic style squats. And step ups actually are underutilized exercise uh, for the Avastus medialis, trying to target that shit right there. It's a pretty good exercise. Do we really have to talk about calves? We really, okay, we've got to talk about leg anatomy. Let's get it over with. I don't care. That's me personally. Maybe you get a hard on when you look at calves. I don't know, right? So let's talk about it. Three separate muscles, the soleus, the gastroc, and the anterior tibialis. Tibialis, anterior, broke down, whatever. Uh, right here, two primary functions. Dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. Uh, plantar flexion, think, is when you go up on your heels, whereas dorsiflexion would be the opposite. Uh, the soleus, to break it down simply, it's a little more complicated, but when you do a seated calf raise, it targets the soleus a little bit more. When you do it standing, it's more gastroc. When you... Take a dumbbell and place it in between your feet and then raise it up, your toes pointed towards you. That's your tibialis anterior. Okay, so I talked about all the different muscle groups. Let's talk about how to integrate them. So compound movements reign supreme. You should be doing a whole lot of squats, a whole lot of deadlifts. Granted, you should also do some unilateral movements like lunges to work all the small muscles. The muscles I didn't even list in this leg anatomy video. You should place a greater emphasis for a lot of people on their glutes because they don't know how to activate it. They got a lazy ass, they got a tight ass, they can't use that junk in the trunk and it's a shame. Okay? Hamstrings as well should be stretched a little bit more. Quads in general seem to be alright for most people. Then lastly, calves. Do you want them to grow? Well, if you want them to grow, you should train them. A couple sets a week should serve you well. That's it. That is the video. That is leg anatomy. The most important 
anatomy video, in my humble opinion, make sure to like this video because a lot of time and effort went into drawing the boxes, making the writing look messy, I can't write for shit. Uh, and that's pretty much it, that's where all the time went. Because a lot of Bothan spies, as I said before, went and died trying to get you this information. And conclude the entire anatomy series. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. If you're not a subscriber, what are you fool? Your mama didn't raise you right? You don't know when you see something good, you should subscribe. And Zealous Army, look that word up if you don't know what it means. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.